All right, hey guys, we're gonna read another manga today. It's called Kyo Kareore wa Loli no Himo. It's about a guy that mooches off a lolly. So let me read you this uh, synopsis here called I, Tendo Haru, who was somehow aiming for becoming a mangaka, became a winner in life. A super rich Bashojo elementary school student, Nijo Toka, was a big fan of mine. On top of that, she said that she is going to be my patron. Yeah, just like that, my ideal living off someone's lifestyle had started. So uh, essentially, it's a uh, manga artist who finds a rich lolly girl and he mooches off of her. It's also a uh, harem. It's a lolly harem. So thought it would be really cool to read. Um, I'm going to start off in the third chapter here. Uh, surprisingly, these chapters are very are like long. They're like about 25 pages each. So I'm just going to skip over this bullshit. So I'll read you the names. This little girl here, Tanzawa Chizuru. Cute. They're all cute. Uh, this is Nijo Toka. This is like the main girl. This is the first rich girl he came into contact with and the one he's currently freeloading off of. Uh, oh no, this is the, the main character too. Tendo Haru right here. So I'm just going to skip by. Because uh, this is just some stuff you don't really need to know. He's playing a gacha game right here. Which is kind of funny. Okay, so we're going to start right here. This is Komori Sana. Toka's classmate, 5th grade. Ojo Sama with Chunibyo. So she's like a uh, real nerd. Who likes wearing cat ears. She's like the best one, I think. So we'll start with her. <clears throat> Nisama improves when pampered. He's a new breed, Nia. Tana, since when? I got here before you, you know. No way. I came here to ask for Maya-san's advice on our IPO, initial public offering. Then I was the last person to see Haru's drawings, huh? Whatever, and what are you doing now? I'm feeding these to Nisama. Open wine, Nia. Nisama, say Nia. Even Sana? Mmm. Delicious. Of course, Nia. I inherited that precious fruit from a witch. Actually, it was from Maya-san, Nia. What's wrong with everyone? Chizuru, your turn is next, Nia. Time for you to spoil Nisama rotten. What? I was already an adult. Age is just a neon bird, Nia. Everyone wants to be praised for trying their best. That's right, she's a Roo too. Yeah. See, this is why she's the best. <laughs> it's not like, uh, huh? This is me and an F cup. No, 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 not these. Hey, let me see. No. These are the drafts for designing characters. They're incomplete, so. Huh? They're not something you have to hide, right? Anyways, keep these a secret from Toka. She absolutely can't see these. I'm done for, she tells Maya's son. Uh, okay, I got it. Still, that's a lot. Well, uh, when I got into it... Hmm, so you drew me too. Uh, you saw it. Sorry for not asking you. If I got to know you more, I, then I think I can draw you better. An F cup too? Make my drawing cuter next time then. Okay, I can't just leave it to those two alone. I'll spoil you too. However, nothing perverted is allowed. Ah, uh, okay then. And he gets to sit on some lolly thighs and... Ah, uh, is this heaven? Two plump thighs compressed by tight knee socks, the gentle feeling of cloth, and a little girl's warm body temperature as a cherry on top. Truly the highest grade pillow for a man. I rate it five stars. Don't, don't review it, you pervert. It's nothing perverted, for my manga's sake. I need to experience many things. Are all manga artists like this? Can I uh, put my fingers inside your knee socks? Uh, don't mind. But it's my first time in a lot of ways. Well, hey, stop moving around. It's really warm. It feels like we shouldn't be watching this, Nia. Yeah, you think so? This isn't enough. I didn't think a thigh high lap pillow could feel this good. Toka, Sana, I need your help too. 
Certainly. I'm glad that the three of us can help you. Yeah. Please feel free to use our thighs. Bare legs, tights, thigh highs, all the varieties, Nia. Whoa. -ho -ho. Okay, he just rolls around in like a bunch of little girls' thighs and they're all going, Yeah. These three different stimuli are permeating my body. God made little girls' thighs for you to put your head on and entrust your body to them. This is the truth I've arrived at. Uh, little known fact, this is actually like some Confucianism uh, philosophy. You can look that up. Or it's, I think it's Taoist actually. But yeah, you get the point. Oh. This is the Maya son to the maid, by the way. Oh, uh, M Maya son. Uh, uh, you look nice in those clothes. Uh, this is that, right? Someone who doesn't let me talk my way out. Yeah, meanwhile, I got these like, uh, like heavy breathing lollies going, Sensei. You, you dummy, Nisama. No. Please feel free to choose whichever stri one strikes your fancy. Oh, shiny. I have no choice. Let me choose something that looks like it will hurt you the least. All of them look so dangerous after all. You're so kind, Chizuru. And, uh, you know, that wraps up this chapter for the most part really like it. It's like an Epstein uh, anime or manga, finally. Some recognition for my boy. But yeah, very nice. Cute concept. Haven't seen it around very often, so. Lolly Harem. This is uh, Kyo Kare Orewa Lolly no Himo, Chapter 3. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you later.